Okay, this is Shane Armand Rowe from NVIDIA Shield Zone. I've been asked a lot how to get RetroArch working properly with Arc Browser, and uh, most of the problem re uh, revolves around getting the controller to work. In order to do this little trick, you're going to have to have a mouse plugged into the shield. Um, you can tell if your mouse is working, like right now you can see I've got a mouse. Um, the lean back launcher doesn't let you actually select anything, but if you plug a mouse in and you've got a uh, arrow pointer, you'll be fine. So go ahead and set up Arc Browser. I've got um, Arcade set up to go to RetroArch. And we go to Time Pilot. Alright, so right now you would normally be stuck. You couldn't do anything because the controller is not working. The only thing that does work on the controller, oddly enough, is the back button, which I will press. That brings up a menu. Now what we're looking for is settings. So using the mouse, double click settings. Now, what we need to do is scroll down to get to the input configuration, but we can't because it doesn't work. The trick to get around this is double-click audio, then go back. Audio is now in the middle, but you'll notice the menu has been pushed up. So now you can get to said input, right? So now you can jump into input and... Um, you can monkey about as necessary in here, but what you really want to do is jump into the user bindings, right? So once you're in there, you can click and hit the B button, right? Y, user select, um, which I will make the left thumb, right thumb, and etc., etc., etc. Um, once you get the D-pad going, once you have the D-pad mapped, you should be able to make the D-pad work. And then you can select the remainders. That's it. Once you've got everything bound up, you can back yourself out and exit. Right? Now when we go back in, we have, and I hate this stretching thing, but I can't seem to get RetroArch to behave and put it in proper aspect ratio. But there you go. And now you have a working... Uh, uh, set up. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get this fixed soon where you won't have to go through such a muss. And uh, this is Shane R. Monroe, NVIDIA Shields, and we'll see you later.